Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We won the die roll. We've got uh, a keepable hand. We shall keep it. Get our gem hides out to play these two. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, I am off today. If I don't play super well, that's why. I'm feeling it. It's up to like 4 a.m. Getting wins on Call of Duty with the boys. Uh, those videos will be up soon. Uh, if you're interested at all in Call of Duty. Uh, but I am tired. <laughs> so I can feel it. Alright, so. Yeah, I think, we'll, I think we'll just play the gem. We've got two of them in case it dies. But I think we should have a turn. Some Boros. It's no big deal. Double Mountain, though. That's not great. Alright. This guy's annoying. He gets big really fast. Blade back, huh? Alright. Alright, so I think I am... Gonna definitely play a plated here. And... I don't think I want to put out my Lord yet, so I think I'm just going to put out another Gem Hide. And set up to just start emptying the hand next turn. See if he wants to kill anything. No? Alright. This guy's going to get big though, unfortunately. Uh, plus two, plus one has haste, attacks each combat if able. Uh, he gets it, this card back if the enchanted creature dies. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Three, six. Take a few hits. Has to attack each combat if able now, so. If we start developing a good board, then... We'll be all right. Is he going to pump him again? No pumps again. Ash Baron. So, hmm. Do I want to Ash Baron's this turn? I guess I will. I'll grab myself a... Uh, uh, should we grab the mountain? Yeah, I guess we'll grab the mountain. Um... No way we can have it set up like that. Now we will play our guys. We'll get it running. Just empty as much as we can here. Uh, I'll play the blade back because he's a big boy. Good defense in case we need to start blocking, potentially. We'll wait on the Viverlint. Not out of range of a lightning bolt, so we may see that coming up. Uh, although they didn't do it at end of turn, which would be prime opportunity, so maybe they don't got the removal yet. Three, six. We're going to be taking a couple beats from this Laguna. Another infectious blood. All right. That's uh, getting big. Six, eight. Ugh. Don't like that. Has to attack. We'll take the hit. We're going to be racing a little. Slamming this Viverlint too is really going to put the pressure on him. You're going to get hit for six poisonous next turn unless they uh, either mutagenic or they're going for it. They know they're in a race situation here. We're at eight. Okay. Oh, just case, student. All right, little chump blocker. Give me a lord. Mm, not what I want to see, but we will drop him. Mm, 
Now we do need to chump block, so I think I'm gonna hold back a gem hide to chump block because I don't want to chump block with my virulent. Uh, I want to save him to get him on poisonous potentially to just help with the racing. I mean, we've got we're presenting a lot of damage here, but they could go ham. Two cards left in hand for them right now. We put him to eight, five poisonous. Mm -hmm. We're presenting lethal, they're presenting lethal. Just don't make him flying. That'd be the nuts. Apostle's Blessing. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. He's just gonna call green. We'll make sure he actually does, but uh, we won't be able to block him, which is unfortunate. Let's make sure they do it, though. Protection from green. Okay, that's fine. We will go to game two. Good play, good play. All right, so like trickery doesn't really do it. We can get some gleefuls for those guys. Uh, we could do an armadillo cloak too if we're going to be racing a little bit. I'm fine with that. Uh, blade back is a little slow. Hunter might be useful. We'll take out a striking. I don't think it's super necessary. We gotta cut one more. 30 creatures. Do we just take out Bladebacks completely? We could. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep in just the Hunter and run it like that. Works for me. See how they sideboard. <clears throat> uh, yes, I would like to play first. Um, we can keep this hand. It's not the best. Not the worst. See if they mulligan, I guess. What are they waiting on here? Come on. Oh, multi four. Ooh, that's harsh. That's harsh. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. See what they got here. They go red, they got Akron Crusader, he's got heroic. Whenever they cast a spell the targets, create a soldier token. Okay. I gotta remind myself some of these cards. I've played against this before, but you know, I gotta double check. Almost selected planes there. That would have been bad. Just almost auto selected planes. <laughs> Not pretty. Okay. Uh, I'll just go. We'll just go gem hide. If he dies, it's fine. We've got a mountain anyways, and we've only got one red card in our deck right now, so not a huge deal. We'll just set up to empty, like we did last time. Now we can get lead the stampede going and do all sorts of stuff. I know it's not super ideal to always play gem hide super fast, but gotta do what we gotta do. Every cast a spell, put a counter on. All right, defiant strike, draw a card. Absolutely, plus one, plus zero. Well, for a multi four, they're not doing too bad, but they're gonna run out of cards soon.
Get a plains. Uh, I'm still just going to play out our mountain here. We can go like this. Like this. And we could start swinging back in a little bit. If they got a mutagenic growth, they want to block on that guy. I mean, I don't care. Get in for a little bit of damage. We'll set up for a lead the stampede. We got a gleeful in case they do play any type of enchantment. All right, just guy student, sure. One card left. They pass. All right, they don't. They they don't have anything good. They might have a mutagenic growth, but that that might be about it. All right, I think I do want to lead the stampede here still. Just really set up and get far ahead of them. Oh yeah. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. All right, let's just play out our stuff. We're just gonna get ahead. That's all we're going to do. Get out of range. Get ahead. Bam. Pass the turn. Alright. They gain a life. And we'll probably see another pass here, yep. Oh, I mean, the game's a wrap now. The game is an absolute wrap. We have super lethal, they just have to chump block. I mean, it's rough. They, uh, you know, they molt a, a good amount. Uh, I'm just gonna wait to play this. I just want to swing with everything. Everything that is able to attack. Yeah, see. All right. I mean, that's Mulda 4 for you. That's unfortunate. Uh, I like what we had. Let's just run it back. heroic <clears throat> changing up your sideboard <laughs> all right give us a good hand Uh, it's a slow hand, but uh, it's a good hand. We will keep. Uh, we're on the draw, so if we get an untap land, we'll play that first, just so we can get our Ash Barons going. But, otherwise, two Lords, two Viverlin, a Plated. I like it. They mold to six. So we're already ahead on cards. They're allowing us to kind of catch back up a little bit. That tap land. All right, double ash barons. We're going blossoming sands. We're passing the turn. You gotta do what you gotta do. Depending on what they play, we might try to get these ash barons out of our hand pretty quickly. And I'm just gonna get forced in planes. Guna, such a good blocker. I hate it. Alright, well now we're just gonna do this. Do we start playing stuff out? I think we do just start playing stuff out now. Develop that board. And we can start Ash Bearing uh, next turn and still play out Lords and stuff, so. Surprised we haven't seen any removal yet. They're just going for it on the heroic stuff. Keenfind, alright. That's a good card. Taps him out for a turn. Alright, lead the Stampede. So we are gonna 
cycle. Grab ourselves... Grab ourselves a forest. Play it. Play out a lord. And... Uh, we don't really have any good attacks. They can block with Trailblazer, and if they have a mutagenic growth, they just kill our creature, so... We will just pass and try to dodge a removal on the Predatory, get out of range next turn with a Muscle. And we can empty the rest of our hand out, hopefully start attacking, because they probably will want to start attacking with Keenfind at least. Kin find. Find the Fiend. Uh, plus three, plus one until... That's a big hit. Okay. That's a big hit that we're gonna take. Yikes. That's a giant hit. Okay. Ugh, I'm scared. I mean, they can still do a lot with this guy, really pump him up past 10 at least. We'll take 7. I hope they don't have any more in combat pumps, that'd be pretty sucky. I would love to see a... Sidewinder, maybe. Oh, they do have a mutagenic growth. We're taking a ton. We're taking, what, like 12? No, 13? Oh my gosh. They are going for it. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Teamer Battle Rage. All right, we just got got. We just got got. Wow. All right. <laughs> I was not expecting the Teamer. Maybe I should have been thinking about that card, but we just got got hard. Holy crap. Yeah. We are uber dead for 30. Ugh, we had a good turn next turn, too. I mean, we were setting up. We were getting plated muscle. Ugh. Uh, maybe I should have just blocked. I mean, obviously, hindsight is 2020, but I uh, didn't really want to lose my board quite yet. Uh, dang. <laughs> All right, good game. Good game, Boros Heroic. Uh, Heroic is a tougher matchup, especially with Laguna. Uh, Trailblazer is just a beast of a blocker for us, and they can start really getting ahead uh, pretty easily on this thing. And they'd even pump it this time, uh, which is crazy. But there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those. It was a good matchup. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to more slivers. Coming up on Wednesday, stay tuned. We will see you guys in the next video.